Hey there, Habibi here. Let's uh, let's continue the this project making Unity third person controller and car dri car driving controller. If you already watch my previous video, you already know that I have this car here and. I want to enter this car by clicking this pickup button. Let's make it possible. So I'm going to edit my my scene scene. Then here I will add no car driving scene. Let me edit my car driving scene. And this is my car. I'm going to add uh, a new box object here cube object and I will name it car enter apple uh, trigger I will set it as trigger and I will add a new tag Go back to this object, set the tag, scale it up, whoa, 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 it was a wrong object, here, car enterable, car, scale it up, somehow we need to cover the entire car body, yeah and let's uh, make it invisible I will disable the mesh renderer then I will edit my object pickup script as usual it will take some time so I will pause the video all right here is the script object pickup script and what I will do here what I will do here is to make another public game object variable I believe there is more um, there is more effective way of doing this scripting but because I do it spontan spontaneously and you can see maybe you will see something that you don't like you say this way is not efficient is not good it's not good way for doing it you can do whatever you like but I will do it my way you can see there are so many public game objects here and just, yeah whatever lah. I will make public game object called uh, enter Enterable car, a car that you can enter into it. <laughs> okay, on trigger enter. Here are if statements, and I will duplicate. Or I will just, uh, I will just type. I can see this bracket here. Which one is the? Oh, it is. Let me add an, an indent for it to it. Okay, I will add new if statement. If other that com compare tag enterable car. The tag was car. 
if only that combat have come, then enterable car should be other that they're not there. Else, no, not else. Here on trigger exit, enterable car. Whoa, enterable car. Travel car should be null here. Null. Okay, and then here inside this pickup object function, we will make another if statement if enterable. Ah, enterable car. If enterable not enterable car not now, what will we do here is to debug lot. I'm entering this car. So let's stop right here and test the script to make sure that we did it correctly. Then we will continue scripting. Mm, compiling. For how long? Busy. Hold on. Busy. Okay, let's go to main menu. Play. Hit the play button here hold on hold on hold on play now I'm going to enter the car scene what why am I here at the center of the scene I should be here at this door I think there is some bug with the entry point I will debug it later let me focus on this one I clear up the console and I'm going to walk here close enough to the car and click this pickup button I should see an, a message here that I can enter the car I can't pick up anything but I'm entering this car okay I can't pick up anything because there is no pickable object here but there is another message here I'm entering this car so this script is working now what we will do here is to to add another UI element to our let me open this prefab folder player rig and here is player canvas hmm. okay this one is joystick okay let me hide this inventory UI I will Sorry, why should we go here? No, we don't need to do it. What I will do here... I was thinking that I need to add a button to enter the car. But we don't need it. We already have this pickup button. So I forgot about that, about that a while. And what we will do here is to disable the third person controller and enable the car controller okay okay uh, here the car car driving canvas and car driving camera I'm going to 
re-enable them then uh, I'm going to create a new empty game object I will call it um, player car player car rig yeah oh, and then this car car driving canvas and car driving camera and yeah these three objects I will make them child of this player car rig object then I'm going to have it as a prefab here then I'm going to create a script you know guys I'm doing it uh, live yeah I did not make exercise or something before I recall this so I'm doing it right now just right now so maybe I make mistake maybe I forget something and I don't edit the video I just stop recording when I'm finished and upload the video so bear with me be patient if I do some mistake or pauses in this video yeah because I don't have much time guys to edit my video and make thumbnail or make intro for the video I'm just so busy <clears throat> okay guys what I'm going to do is after creating this prefab object by default this I will again disable this car driving canvas and car driving camera I will disable it and after detecting this car object here after I click the pick up button which is this one the white button here we cannot see it I need to enable this car driving canvas and car driving camera from here so what I will do I think I need to create a script yes so now I'm sure that I need to create a script for this for this player correct object I go to this scripts folder create a C sharp script I name it player correct what sound is that guys my kids are always making noise so forgive me about that yeah I have two kids they always fight each other <laughs> I add this player card here to the player card object hang on it did not compile yet it is not compiled yet I don't know what what bug is it the bug from unity or the this one she oh, this one studio I'm not sure we need to wait wait and wait always waiting not this one player correct place it here now let's edit this player correct script we are going to add this Mm, to game object public variable public game object car canvas and then the second one car camera we need to enable them by this script alright I 
believe that there is another way of doing it but right now I only have this opinion on doing it so let me just continue call canvas and call camera I will make a function public void activate car <laughs> something like this what we will do when it is activated it will activate uh, camera and canvas car camera and car canvas one oh, not echo not the echo sign we need to do it this way okay and here on the color what's the button click not, not the button click oh where is the script pick up here object pick up script what we will do here is not this one Yeah, it is this one. Okay, here the car game object, which is enterable card. We need to access the script of this player card. Mm. Guys, what if I remove this script and? Add it here instead because it will be a problem for me to access the script here inside the current from this current interval object. Ah, let me do this. Let me do this. Player current. You know, guys, it is development phase. You will need some moments to redo the, the work making changes making uh, what do you call it improvement or something let me do it this way and I will override the changes apply all and here current variable trigger object has this script player correct okay and then here we will call this function player correct from this object pick up script so variable car dot get component we call the script what was the name of the script enterable enter oh I did not make it public guys but okay hang on player current we should make a public instance player current so we can call this function inside the script from another script. Player correct instance and here instance this this object pickup. Now we can get the component player correct and we can set we can call the function activate card that is what we will do guys and here inside this activate car not only re-enabling the car canvas and car camera we also need to disable the third person controller so because we have this object player rig 
is the third person control that we had we need to access this game object and disable it I'm going to add public game object player layout player person here we will define player of player to person is game object dot find the player object then here player person we will disable the so guys you know that I always rely on this set active true and set active false in my coding if you have another opinion how to switch things turn it on and turn it turn that off without using set active true or false please let me know if you have better idea this is what I know it is simple and I can use it without problem so if you have another solution let me know and let me try to test the game mm. what I will do is to activate to open this main menu script I am in menu scene play the game and I hope I can activate the car controller when I enter it. Let's, let's do this. One, two, three. Yeah, we are inside the car, but I cannot. I cannot move the game. I cannot move the car. Why? 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 Ah, uh? I have this player rig. I have this player car rig. And button car forward. problem is I have the what do you call it the event system the event system that I had is inside this UI inside this player rig without this UI event system object with this components we cannot use this uh, UI buttons because we deactivated the player rig that US system is inside it I cannot move the car so I need to I need to do one of these two possibilities first thing is to place UI event system outside this player rig so UI event system should be always here even we are using a third person walking character controller or something like that or we are inside the car mm. to make it easy let me just do it this way I'm going to copy this UI event system Now let's be more specific here. You even system, you I even system here. I'm going to copy this component and place it here inside this car driving canvas. Make it a child of this canvas. So 
this uh, event system object will be disabled and enabled when we disable and enable this car driving canvas. Only we need to override the changes. Let's apply everything. Uh, yeah. Okay, we can try it again. Main menu. And this time, I expect the car can be controlled using the movement buttons on my screen. Let's go to that scene. Oops. Go inside it, man. Move it. Hey, come on. I cannot move the car still. Why? I already have this event system here. What is the problem? Do I have any error here? Hmm. We need this UIFN system and scripts and so on. Okay, and I'm going to open main menu. Let's try it again. Play now. Go to the car scene. Enter the car. Yes. So we are able to control the car. That is for entering the car, guys. This simple thing we have to uh, make it. How long did we make the cooling? 29 minutes. Almost an half of hour. I try to make it possible. Now we have the character inside the car. Just imaginary character inside the car. Actually the character is just disabled right here. It is disabled right here. But if I enable the character, let me go back to this game. Oh my kid. And let me de enable this player rig and what will happen this is happen. both canvases are visible here and this is not correct okay so far we did the
car entering or switching to car driving mode uh, sorry for my English guys that is for entering the car and what about getting out of the car there will be a very easy I think we can just make a button here on car canvas I will add a button here to make the player to make the player enabled again and then we disable the, those two objects for the player car right yeah okay that's all guys uh, for this video Thank you for watching and see you next time on my next videos for the getting out of the car tutorial bye bye